Hello, good evening. How are you, Natalie? Hello, good evening, teacher. Um, more or less. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. You look tired as I look as well. I feel like I have like a dead face. Así sí que me siento así muerta y hasta parezco de, de esa forma. And even though I put some makeup, ahí sí no me ha ayudado el, muy, el makeup. <laughs> But... Mm, thank you for being on time. I know you were waiting for me, Natalie, maybe at 9 p.m. sharp. However, I had to finish my class because I came a little late uh, to pick uh, from picking my daughter. She lives in Santa Tecla, so I, uh, I was in a heavy traffic. And that is why I was late. So I need to cover that minute. Most of the time I am on time, right? These times or these previous days, I have been connected on time and you are connecting a little bit late. All right. But it's okay. Remember, I told you so, so, sometimes um, I connect a minute later because I need to finish my previous class and sometimes Zoom It doesn't connect me right away. Okay, but thank you for being here. Um, Nazario and ladies, okay? Natalie, Saura, Glendis, uh, ah, Renato as well, okay? And Ana Silvia, of course, okay? That that is great that you uh, that you were in class. I uh, actually felt a little bit sad because in the other group, They didn't, uh, most of the students didn't connect. Fíjense que en el otro no se conectaron muchos. Pero aquí ya es, estamos varios, ¿verdad? So, that is great, okay? Uh, we are more than enough. Ya, ya somos varios, ya somos, ¿cuántos aquí? We are seven. Y creo que tal vez se nos puede juntar alguien más. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to text the rest to remind them that we have classes. It's raining, this I know it was raining in San Salvador, very heavy. And uh, the traffic was really slow. And I hope I don't get uh, worse because uh, it was raining and I, and, and I got with a little, uh, I got some drops on me. Sí, con esas gotitas a veces uno se enferma más. But anyways. <laughs> I'm just texting the rest. Just in a moment. Okay. If um, you remember everything about yesterday, we were actually talking about simple present. Hey, Nubia, nice to see you. Simple present and simple past, right? We were saying that the structure is basically the same, but we needed to learn more verbs in past. So we can express the idea talking about past. Also, <clears throat> we studied the form to express the future, right? And what was the example? Uh, sorry, the example or the structure that we used to talk about past. <clears throat> uh, to talk about past, we say that we use auxiliary. Did. Did, for present. We use the auxiliary. Do y das. Do y das. Solo en negativo y en preguntas, remember, right? And yeah. for future, <clears throat> and for future, will. we use will, all right? Will. Hay otro que es show, ¿verdad? Y ahora vamos a ver par, un par de expresiones de cómo expresar condiciones para el futuro. Ejemplo, maybe you watch some videos already. Yo sé que algunos se adelantan y que bueno, it's super good that you watch the videos in advance. So you understand more when we're talking about those topics in the class. So, <clears throat> oh, give me a second. Then, um, we already talked about the simple present, the past, and the future. We haven't um, 
practice too much about the future with going to because it is a little bit different. It, some people don't say, I am going to, sino que dicen, I going to. I going to. Y si dicen, me voy a ir a la iglesia, dicen, I, I going to church. I going to church. Y le hace falta el go, ¿verdad? Como David nos hizo ayer. I am going to go to church. Ese es un futuro. Si digo, I am going to the church, eso es un present continuous, que yo voy para la iglesia, all right? I am going to the church. Pero si yo le agrego, oh, I'm going to the church tomorrow, sí puede ocuparse también el presente continuo como señal de futuro, ¿sí o no? <coughs> Por ejemplo, ah, I'm visiting my mom tomorrow, sí, puedo ocuparlo también, ¿ok? Pero eh, para un short, uh, short period, como un periodo corto uh, o, o digamos un future a corto plazo. Example. <ríe> ¿Me saluda? Aquí está la, aquí está mi baby. Say hi. Hi, honey. Hola, hi. escuchas. Hello. Do you hear? Yes. Yes. Hello. Mira, the they are face. Mira, the same face, this is new. All right, Ana Silvia. All right, she's, uh, her name is Abril. She's 10 years old. She lives in Santa Tecla, and that's the reason why I travel every every weekend uh, from Suchitoto to there. And that's the reason of my existence. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Gracias por venir a saludar, mi amor. Curiosa ella, she's curious. De que me lo guarde, decir. Ok. So, sorry guys. Ya, eh, créanme qué es lo que quería. Quería verlos a, a ustedes. Es que quería... Yo he visto en, con Isaura que a veces ahí llega también su niño, ¿verdad? Curioso. Es que quiere estar también en clase, cabal. Okay, o, no, como quien dice, vamos a ver si es cierto que no es que está en clase. Sí, ¿verdad? Hubiéramos tenido no. clase hoy, dicho. ¿Qué manda? No hubiéramos tenido clase hoy, hay que disfrutar el fin de semana. Tiene razón, pero fíjese que mejor salimos de esta, no voy a hacer que otra cosa pase para el otro fin de semana, ¿verdad? Eh, así que, primero Dios, pues ya la otra semana estamos al día. Sí tiene toda la razón, Renato, y más que nos avisaron hasta bien tarde. Yo ya casi que lo, lo daba como que, ah, bueno, si no me dicen nada, pues mejor. Pero <coughs> algo podría suceder, y imagínense. Mejor ahorita y no estar posponiendo también esa clase. Así que, thank you for understanding. Thank you, Renato. And she understands. Ella sí entiende, así que mañana sí me voy a dedicar con todo a ella. Sí. Thank you, Renato. I know I should have uh, take, taken advantage uh, with her, of her, of uh, the time with her. No de ella, sino que del tiempo con ella. Okay, but... There's no problem. Uh, she's uh, she's with a uh, with a friend of mine, who and she's really está más feliz. Así que there is no problem for that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, eh, bueno, eso es lo que estábamos hablando del pasado, del futuro. Okay, a dónde nos quedamos? Ah, oh, entonces cómo hacer con digamos y conditional. ¿Cómo es que hablamos en condición? Ah, oh, si, si tengo tiempo, ¿verdad? Yo iré mañana a verte, ¿sí? O si tengo tiempo, te visito mañana. If I have time, I will visit tomorrow. I will visit you tomorrow, ¿sí? Eso es un conditional. Y vamos a ver que no solo podemos ocupar will, como me dijo Isaura, sino que podríamos ocupar también el would, eh, el show, ¿ok? No sé si se recuerdan del show. Es yeah. bien, es, es muy poco común. Este es el show. Yeah. Solo se lo envía Renato. Ok, ahí se los envío a todos. Show. Y el wood, que ya lo saben, ¿verdad? Que es también una expresión para... I'm sorry, Renato. I am sick with the flu as well, but we're here. Ok, we are war we're warriors, ¿vea? nosotros somos guerreros, así que no nos quedamos atrás. So, nice to see you, Francisco. What happened to you last night? Oh, last Andaba night. de parranda. 
No, my son, <laughs> my son uh, live today for the United States. Oh. Now uh, we have dinner for despedida. Yeah. A farewell. Farewell, yeah. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Okay, now. As Renato said, hey, you should haven't... You wish you haven't had class today, you said, because I am with my daughter this weekend. And it doesn't matter most of the time I spend with her <clears throat> just Sunday and Saturdays. I mean, yeah, Saturdays and Sundays. But this day I try to to be with her a little bit more. She understands I, I always have classes or most of the time I have classes on Friday. But that is no problem. <clears throat> Thank you for understanding, guys. Sorry that I... I <clears throat> so anyways um sorry for my throat knowledge check we did this we did this exercise we developed skills uh oh the better the for better or worse this is something that we were missing yesterday if i'm not mistaken right yeah I know you probably know the answers, but to put you in context, if you did not connect uh, like yesterday, so you were able to listen, all right? So Francisco was not here. I'm not sure if the rest were here, but I will play it just for last time and then you tell me what they're talking about, okay? Got it, got it? Got it. All right. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during oh. that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have... Okay, <clears throat> let's pause it there. I know you know the answers already. So... The, the questions are simple, all right? What are they talking about in the first example, in the first um, uh, topic or conversation? 
-hmm. Environment. About environment. Okay. About environment. Is it worse or is it better? Worst. Worse. It is worse than before. No. But it's better. Lo todos me dijeron que es worse. Uh -huh. yeah. You didn't pay attention. ¿Quién dice lo contrario? It's better because it's exactly. it, they uh -huh. plant trees. Exactly. Before there were no trees. And nowadays, in this, in this uh, neighborhood, they have planted trees. Esos son los que sí se preocupan por su vida, ¿verdad? Las colonias que plantan arbolitos, lo que dice Renato. Entonces, ahí ya se ha mejorado. All right? Now, life is getting better there because people are taking care of the environment in this case. Okay? It's, I know that if we're talking about general um, situations or the global uh, situation, we know that we're getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Allá estuvimos hablando de eso con Nazario. We were talking about that before, that unfortunately in El Salvador and in so many countries, deforestation is a problem. And that is why we have like this hot weather uh, in everywhere that we are almost burning. We're sweating all the time. We have a lot of degrees, but in this case, they are, it's different. Ahí sí, sí es, ha mejorado su vida. What about the other, uh, the other example, the second, <clears throat> the second topic or conversation? Transportation. It or talks about transportation. Okay. Is it worse or is it better? War. It's worse, right? It is worse. Why? <clears throat> Why do you think it's 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 worse? You didn't pay attention. Se los puse ayer y se los acabo de poner para que le pusieran. Sí escucharon, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. Vaya, solo, solo pensaron que les iba a preguntar de transportation. Escucharon la otra pregunta de que si era mejor o peor los cambios que habían habido, right? And they say there, uh, in this case, the transportation is getting worse, but why? ¿Por qué? Vaya, se lo voy a poner otra vez y hoy sí tomen nota porque le voy a hacer más Because preguntas. Because he has to, he has to walk for a bus. Sí, pero yo también camino por el bus y no es ese es el, el motivo por el cual se ha implorado el, el, el. Ajá, you're right, Glendy. Eso sí, pero no es solo ese motivo. Is there something else? Vaya, pay attention. Hoy sí pónganle atención. This is the third time. Ya esta es la tercera vez que escuchamos este audio, guys. Mm -hmm. Y Saura, ya ve que como quien dice, ah, ya le van a dar la respuesta a los demás. Solo Nazario dice la respuesta. I'm quiet. <ríe> no, por eso, no. Es que han de decir, Nazario va a responder, entonces yo no le voy a poner atención, dice. Ajá. Ahora le voy a pedir... Other question, I forgot that. Mm, all Answer. right. Okay. Vaya, espérenme, pues, que esto siempre me da problemas para darle play. Ahí está. The second, the second is about quantity of cars. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's because there are many cars. On buses. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are many cars, pero no solo, esa es otra razón. Dos motivos. Pay attention. Voy a, voy a tomar yo notas también yo. Clic, clic. Clic, clic.
Eso es lo que se pregunta. Miren, for better or worse, ¿qué cambios han habido en el, de lo que ellos están hablando? Si ha mejorado o si ha empeorado. Give me a second. Mm. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city. But you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of change? It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city. But you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Nice. Can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> so, so you know, you tell me already the uh the reason why, all right? The, in the first um exp dialogue, they talk they are talking about the environment and they say that the city has planted trees and that is why okay? The city is better, right? Why, besides that they have planted cities, is there something else that you can tell me? Hi, teacher. Hi, Rebecca. Nice to hear you. Hi, teacher. Sorry for being late, but I'm working. I know, I know. I'm only, <laughs> I'm only here at the <clears throat> class. Okay. You're listening or hearing to the class. No problem. No problem, Janelle. Okay. Not Thank a problem. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Thank it's okay. So, uh, besides, guys, 
Uh, do you re do you remember how long has the girl lived in the city? For twenty years, maybe. She has lived for twenty years in that in that city. Okay, why does she say that the city is nicer? Because five five years uh, después. Five okay. years later, uh -huh, five uh -huh. years ago. Five uh -huh. years. Desde uh -huh. hace cinco es... años. Ajá, las personas empezaron a, a plantar más árboles. The people... In English, people started... Uh -huh. People started... Uh, uh, trees. Planting. Planting, planting trees. trees. Yes. <clears throat> okay, and they say everywhere. that it's nicer everywhere. It is nicer because... ¿Qué hacen los árboles? And, what do they and there do? are many trees. Because there are many trees. And what is... And what is Something else that she say is much greener, así como más verde, verdad, más bonito, más verdecito todo. Okay, and the second one, I know they're talking about transportation, and the transportation is bad in that, uh, in that, in that city. Why? The man says that you have to um to have a car because uh, there's no way to moving into the city because there was a um, um, bus system but not anymore because um, they expect that everyone have a car super you say so, everything mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh -huh. so they they didn't bother to give a bus service anymore okay <clears throat> good job uh, the transportation is getting worse and because maybe they wait, uh, maybe wait a decade waiting the bus ages dijo que se tarda de era verdad ages yeah it takes ages to take a bus and what happens when they when the bus passes or runs there or when the bus comes so they say that they have they cannot move so since they, they are the city or the authorities probably expect that the, um, everybody has a car. Solo los pobrecitos que no tienen, ¿verdad? Maybe Pero, the mayor. Uh, maybe, maybe the, the mayor, mayor. Or the government. Think that maybe. everybody <clears throat> ride mm -hmm. a car. But what happens, imagine, today I had to take the bus again. Otra vez me tocó el busito. And it was so crowded, so full, that I was like, even though I was sitting, esto, menos mal que ahí iba sentadita, pero si no, imagínense, joder. Oh, my God. So, and you wait ages, y también es cierto que se espera un montón. Right? You wait a lot for a bus. And when they come, everybody kicks you to come inside and go first. Right? Le pegan para meterse antes. Uh, and after that, the bus, ¿se acuerdan? Do you remember that we were supposed not to have people standing after the pandemic? We shouldn't have a crowd bus. Miren que si, nada hicieron con para eso tampoco, right? Que teníamos que, que, que ir, que un asiento sí, un asiento no. Never, they never respected. Right? Nunca les hicieron caso. Did the government did something? Nunca vi que respetaran eso. They always have too many people uh, in, in, in the bus. Demasiada gente que ponen en los buses y se tardan un montón. ¿verdad? There should be a better transportation system here as well. No solo en otro, ahí, pobrecitos ellos. Okay. What about the number three? It's a quiet around the place. Oh, about it's families. It's so quiet, right? They're talking families. about families. Okay. And and why does this lady miss uh, or say that everything is quiet? Because the children that used to live in there, in the place, mm -hmm. uh, they grown up and they moved to another city or the country. 
I don't know. They are, all right. They are grown up. O sea, ellos ya son adultos o they have grown up. Ellos han crecido o, uh, o they grew up. Ellos crecieron, ¿verdad? They grew up. Podemos decir en presente, en pasado y en participio también. Ellos han crecido. <coughs> Super. The, the children have grown up. Okay. O grew and nowadays, up. And they uh -huh. moved uh, from their uh, parents' houses. But they visit them and with their children. But sometimes. It's only, mm -hmm. But it's only a moment. <laughs> yes. She, is, she made the sound of children. Yeah, she misses. She misses the children. Okay. <clears throat> Sin la S. No, so, no es children, solo children. Okay. She misses the children uh, because it's so quiet, right? Nowadays, uh, she uh, there are children in the in the city, but it's just the grand. They are the grandsons who are visiting them. Y eso pasa only by weekends, right? Not todo el tiempo. Thank you. Now, 4.9, lesson objective, please read. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with if clauses. Yes, sir. Sentences. Vaya, al fin hubo alguien que me leyó bien las sentences, ¿verdad? No, que sentence me dicen a veces. Vaya, pues. So, let's watch the video and then I'll give you more examples with if clauses. Subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, <laughs> subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what. might happen if I will give you some possible situations try to give me your consequence using the structure learned don't forget to write them on our discussion box if you study English if you lose your job if you have children don't forget to write your consequence using the future will may or might okay now, what can you tell me about the conditional here? 
will have a lot more yeah. free time. We'll leave these as examples so you have a better um, picture about what they're talking about. What is a conditional? A conditional is that it's a, is if something happened, right? It We have the uh, consequence or the result, okay? So if this complies with the conditions, this will be the result or this will be, uh, this won't be the, the result that I sometimes expect. We can do it also in negative, right? For example, if I don't have money, what can you tell me? If I don't have money, <clears throat> I can pay my account. Very good. I can't pay my uh. What What do you mean with an Counts. account? Cuentas. Yeah. <laughs> Cuentas, como los recibos, verdad? Yes. Okay. Bills. Hay dos formas de decir. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, there are two forms. You can say bills in general, aunque no todos. Eh, Los gastos también es expenses, right? Expenses, okay? Expenses, como mis gastos, right? I can pay my bill, or you're talking about my rent as well. You can talk about anything. No se puede pagar nada, right? You, I can pay, uh, I can pay for, um, for my food, okay? I can pay the... Um, yeah, my, cell uh, my cell phone, my computer, my todo lo que uno se... <laughs> Yeah, my internet and, and bills include, we include everything, right? Like telephone. All the budget. All, um, all the budgets, uh -huh. or expenses, como todos los costos. El budget es, el budget que me dice usted, es el presupuesto que yo tengo con el que cuento budget. Right. Veo que me está, se me está cortando. Espero que no me corte, se me oiga cortado. Budget yeah. es un presupuesto, right? Okay. Eh, sorry. Entonces, el budget es lo que yo tengo presupuestado, right? That, or what I have, uh, like, in my hand that will pay everything, right? Sometimes we have a budget that is very small, for big accounts, or uh, in este caso, big expenses, right? Uh, that it, um, big expenses. Okay, nice. So we say it also in negative, okay? The, what it would be the result if I don't have this or if I have this? For example, imagine if I have another baby, ¿qué creen que va a pasar? If I have, I have a baby, I have a daughter. You will be happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, but about another consequence is this. Uh, I have a daughter and I have to you pay a work. lot. I have to work hard and I have to um, buy her everything. So if I have another baby, I will have, I tengo, tendría que, I will have to buy more things. I will have to pay more attention to another person and I won't have enough to survive. Y ahí si no voy a tener lo, lo mismo para sobrevivir como ahorita, ¿verdad? Los oh, niños salen caros. <laughs> yeah, children are expensive. Beautiful and expensive. Okay. Mm. Uh, or if you have five children, que hay todavía personas que se ponen a, poner, a tener más de cinco, right? If they have five children, what can happen? Or they what will five, happen? My husband, too. <laughs> They need five husbands as well, yeah. all right? Well, right. if each husband is responsible, interesting. It's interesting. if each husband <laughs> is responsible, it's okay, right? But that, that is not, I don't think it's a good uh, example it's for the kids. I have to have five niños de cinco padres. I don't know. It's not, I don't think it's an idea. It's a good idea or it's the ideal situation for the kids, right? Some people or some children uh, have troubles but, in their families because, yeah, because they have, they are different from different parents uh, or from different fathers, especially. 
and well they they suffer a lot because some of them are good but some of them are not so but 50 years ago <clears throat> you said Imagine, oh, but, but imagine or, that or grandpas, at that time, or grandpas, for example, my grandma had grandpas. 12 children. That was not oh, many, yeah. but actually uh, she aborted because probably her health was not good. Uh, so at the end, she only got, she only had like alive. All right. So she got pregnant 12 times, got pregnant. Yeah, so, yeah. and she spent, she actually gate birth, o sea, sí les nacieron algunos, and some of them were aborted, not because of her uh, her will, right? Nobody, not her... Nobody uh, alive. Some of them were not alive. So she suffered a lot, but as you said, uh, she was uh, she was so... Uh, I would say Catholic, because that is part... Uh, but she was Catholic, all right? But she was so... Um, attached to their religion and that she she would say okay we will uh prevent the children or she was uh, uh all the time accepting what my grandfather in that case her husband wanted Todo lo que quería él, ella, ella lo aceptaba. so i was actually like okay anyways and i know some people that have 14 children Ahí hasta de 14 y yo los conozco. They're my neighbors. Ahí yeah. viven en mi casa, por yeah, cerca right. de mi casa. My aunt had uh, 14 children. 14. Wow. Yes. ¿Tuvo o tiene? Tuvo. Ok, so that is in casa. So ah. you say had. Had. Uh -huh. She had she had 14 because, as you said, some of them probably are dead, right? Algunos pueden estar muertos. So she had or she has. Okay, tercera persona sería entonces en presente she has. Nice. So you see that, uh, that, that is when we use a lot this if condition, okay? This particle of, of word, if condition. Okay, y si se fijan siempre, si yo digo, si me muero. Me, eh, mi hija va a heredar mi fortuna, ah, gran fortuna, <ríe> mi deuda, vea. vaya, si me muero, vaya, ¿Cómo, se, ¿cómo diría ahí? Si me muero, if I die, if I, I die. die, si se fijan, si es, esta partícula lleva el if, el verbo, aunque yo estoy hablando de algo, de alguna consecuencia a futuro, yo no uso futuro, porque hay personas que dicen, if I will die, no, ¿verdad? If I die, o sea, uso un presente con la condición if. Y la consecuencia sí la uso con futuro. Ya sea con will, will not, con might, con may. Y también... My daughter will cry. If I die, my, my mom and all my family will cry, okay? Will miss me. Yeah, good, yeah. good examples. You see? Your so basically, too, teacher. your classmate too will miss you. <laughs> no, but I, I it's just an example. I I, I don't think I'm I'm dying. <laughs> no Please. creo, no creo, no creo. Okay, I I hope my God gives me alive. plenty of of right years. Now. Creo, espero que me dé muchos años más. Okay, uh, so what will happen? <clears throat> Vaya, vamos a ver qué otro ejemplo vamos a darle. Porque quiero terminar la sección cuatro ahora. All right, so. Uh, I don't know if you have any question with this, guys. Super simple, right? Siempre el presente. Entonces, yeah. si ella no tiene, si estoy hablando, y si mi mamá no, tuve, no tiene dinero, es un, una situación presente. Y esa, si se fijan lo que dijo la chica, hay, hay tres, hay tres eh, condicionales. Está el cero. Esta es la primera. Ah, ya se lo dije. Está el tercero y el cuarto. ¿Cuál es este? primero el primero la, cuando iba a hacer un cuando quería enseñar inglés verdad en una academia me dijo dígame cuál es el segundo condicional y yo ah oh. y así como que menos mal que ya sabía pero bueno eh, sí el zero condicional el zero es si pasa esto qué pasa si usted mete hielo a la refri 
oh, perdón, al hielo, agua, a congelar. Se hace <ríe> hielo a la ref... Se no. hace hielo, ¿verdad? <ríe> o sea, una condición que tiene su reacción, como cosas que pasan, ¿verdad? Porque por ley, ¿ok? Si, ti, si de, suelto algo, ¿qué pasa? Si suelto el, el lapicero desde aquí, se, se wow. cae al piso, ¿verdad? Al, entonces, acción y reacción, eso es el zero conditional. Y todo es presente, presente, presente. Si pongo hielo, if I put ice eh, on heat, si yo le pongo el, el, el hielo en luego caliente, ajá, it se derrite. Se derrite. So we say it, um, remind me, how do you say derretir? Melts, melts, melt, melt. Pero con la S. Acuérdense que la tercera persona siempre cambia. Igual que ahorita, que, ¿a qué quiero llegar? Que con el primer conditional ocupamos el simple present. Significa que cambio el verbo en tercera persona, si es afirmativo. ¿Right? Ok. Entonces, si digo, si mi mamá tiene dinero, me va a prestar. Me va a prestar. Ajá. Si mi mamá tiene dinero, me va a prestar. If my mom has a money. Have, tercera persona ahí nada más. If my mom has money. Ajá, ahí sería. If my mom has money, she will lend it to me. Me lo va a prestar, all right? She will lend it to me. Ok, nice. Tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ok. Si la va, eh, si, digamos, si mi hija lava su plato, yo la felicitaré. Ajá. If my daughter... If my daughter... My daughter if my daughter washes mm -hmm. his dish, her, her dishes... Ajá, her dishes. Yes. Acuérdense siempre de la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Washes her dishes, I will congratulate her. Ok. Nice. Eh, ahora, si, eh, si el presidente no gana, si Nayib Bukele no gana, nos vamos a quedar sorprendidos. If sí, porque the president, vea, creo que todos lo quieren. Ajá. If the president doesn't win. Repeat, please. If the president doesn't win. Doesn't win. Ahí está otra vez el ter la tercera persona. Muy bien, David. Deme la chance a los demás, vaya. Nada más Muy es que yo sé que usted sí le, ag le agarró con todo en la tercera persona. Ok. Muy Thank bien. you, David. I appreciate it. You're, real, you're doing a great job. Ok. Solo la tercera persona. Bueno, ya les dijo David. Ya solo, solo David me contestó ahí en la tercera persona. Entonces, eh, y sería entonces, nosotros nos sorprenderemos. We... The verb is get surprised. Get surprised. We will get surprised. We will get surprised. We might get surprised. Okay. Vamos a ver. Otra más. Una más. <clears throat> si la teacher... Um, Si la teacher, uh, what can I say this? Oh, si mi jefe me aumenta el salario, voy a um, comprar una compu nueva. My boss me the... Repeat. Escríbanmelo todos en el chat. David, ahí sí, es, ahí sí la, la acepto en el chat. Solo para mí, solo para mí, solo para mí. Si no les dejo tarea, si no me lo ponen correcto. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. El verbo es... Rice, rice. ¿ok? Ajá, rice. 
¿cómo se dice? Salary. Salary or wages. Wage. Wage. No, o sea, el verbo nada más. Me wage. Vaya, póngamelo completo. Wage. O ustedes pongan salary. If my boss. Escríbamelo, my... por favor. No, vaya, ya estuvo, Rebeca, ya no. Ya no. Escríbemelo ahí, en el chat. Eh, ¿Puede repetir la oración, por favor? ¿En In inglés, Glendy? ¿Quién me la preguntó? Could you repeat the sentence, please? <coughs> Yes, uh, if my boss, si mi jefe in, in, me incrementa o me sube el salario, me compraré una nueva comp. Ok, enough, enough time. Ya demasiado les di chance. Son unos seis nada más las respuestas. Let me check. Mm. Thank Francisco, super. Ay, solo fueron a copy-paste, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Bueno, si no lo hicieron en copy-paste... Uh -huh, Rebeca, le faltó la S ahí. Uh -huh. Puede ser este rise, es también de subir, pero el raise, rapidito, vamos a ponerlo aquí. Rise y raise <coughs> son lo mismo, pero si para el salario podemos ocupar también el raise, subir. Vaya, eh, nada más les, les eh, a, a Rebeca, la S, ok. Vaya, chicos, hoy sí vamos a terminar lo que nos queda pendiente. We finish. If we don't finish, we will get behind. Si no terminamos, nos vamos a atrasar. So, 411, knowledge check. Okay, instructions, read instructions. Evelyn, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bye. Uh, read the clouds, Max, a uh, will. Thank you, closes, closes. Ayer les dije cómo se leían estas heces, guys. Ok, uh, continue reading. Rebecca, please, read this part. Read the clauses, match with, match it with uh, the appro, appro, perdón. Read appropriate. The clauses, match it with the appropriate consequence. Very good. Clauses, guys. Ayer les dije, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes no me eh, mencionen esa S, lo voy a cortar y le voy a preguntar a alguien más. Porque ya les dije eso, ¿cómo leerlo? ¿Ok? Hey, tell me number one, Natalie. And give me the answer. If you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. All right. Thank you. Number two, help me, Nubia. If you want to work walk, every day, walk, walk. work. Work every day. You are stay in in shape without joining a gym. If you walk to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, walk, walk. Acuérdense walk. que esta palabra no se dice. La, la L, ¿verdad? Vaya. Number three, help me, Glendy. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. 
A waking class. All right. Dos veces eh, me, me dijo sleep y aquí me dijo stay. Acuérdese, aquí no hay una E, ¿verdad? Ya se lo había corregido antes, Blendy. Pues espero que la próxima vez mejoremos ahí. Enough sleep. Ok. okay. You'll be able to stay in class. To stay awake in class. Number four, help me. Um, Ana Silvia. La, la cuatro, ¿verdad? Yeah, number four, talking English, guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, if you exercise, you won't, you may lose weight. Okay, but we already used this one already. Uh, so help me, what do you think, uh, Isaura? Number four. If you exercise, you will stay in shape without joining a gym. No, no. Pero ya me dijeron you... eso también. <clears throat> You might feel healthier. Okay. Por lo menos que no la repitamos. Right. If you don't get married, number five, help me, Renato. If you don't get married, you'll have more money to spend of yourself. All right. Good job. Vamos a ver. Yeah. Good job. Applause, guys. Applause, applause, applause. Excellent. Ya ven, no se pueden repetir. Ah, tomen nota de eso para que no les tome mucho tiempo responderla. Ok. And finally, vamos a tener un reading, pero si se fijan, ya no hay nada que responder de la sección 4. So, in this class, you will read an article about falling in love and you will develop skill in reading for specific information. Este es un reading activity nada más. 4.13 es una lectura. Así que... Eh, Esta, esta sí, eh, la voy a poner rapidito, pero después la vamos a leer nosotros, ¿ok? Pay attention, y con esto nos quedamos, el lunes la leemos. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Sorry, Share. sorry, sorry. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Oh, I thought that it was a little bit longer. Pensé que era un poquito más largo el video. Pero, bueno, es básicamente hacer esta lectura. <clears throat> and we will have this for the next, uh, the next Monday. Yo sé que la siguiente sección 5 es bien cortita, así que vamos a tener tiempo suficiente para hacerla. Eso sí, ya hablé con mis jefes para que no los estén presionando, que tengan... La sección 5 para el lunes, ¿verdad? Too, too early, ¿verdad? Tal vez para el martes y de ahí nos quedamos haciendo un par de, de refuerzos, pero no, no, no podemos ir corriendo tampoco, ¿verdad? Porque los temas hay que entenderlos, no solo pasar... Ah, va, vamos a contestar esto, vamos a contestar esto. No, ¿cómo vamos a Siempre contestar algo? Eso y es bien, y es sí, bien sí, molesto sí, sí, porque... sí. Ustedes ajá. escriban también, porque, ¿no? Mira, ahorita ajá. vamos con la teacher en tal sección, ¿verdad? Porque y a veces uno no ha visto los temas y, y cómo lo va a contestar si no... Ya hablé con mi jefe clase. porque sí, no, tampoco a mí me pareció que les estuvieran pidiendo, ¿verdad? Si eso, si nos hemos atrasado incluso pues con una clase, pero ahora la, la hicimos. Imagínense que para el lunes lo hubiéramos dejado esta otra clase. Ahora tenía que ser. Así que ya estamos al tanto con la sección 4 esa es solo una lectura, como si se fijan, esto lo hacemos en cualquier otra ocasión, porque no es de contestar nada, así que sí, para el lunes eh, la sección 5 es bien cortita, vamos a tratarla de terminar rápido See you on Monday, entonces have a good evening guys, feliz noche fe eh, y gracias por su participation no leí el último chat <coughs> um, if I must increase it, también Ana Silvia le faltó la S ahí Races, muy bien, ahí cualquiera pueden ocupar races, races, uno es con R-I, el otro es con R-I-S, ok, pero tienen que ponerle la S, ok, increases, a todos tienen que ponerle S porque es tercera persona. See you on Monday, bye bye.